Okay, y'all, here's part two of the Trey King video uh, that I was telling y'all about. Now, my question of the day is this. Do you think a burglar cares that you get out and go to work every day and work hard for that flat screen TV in your living room? before they break in your house and steal it. Do you think they care about that? Do you think they care that you get out and work year after year after year to pay for that car before they break in it and steal it? Do you think they care about that? I'm guessing the answer is no. Because if they, if they did, they would not do it in the first place. Now, believe me, if someone breaks in your house, that's a deliberate act. They know what they're doing. It isn't like they just tripped up and, oh, I'm on the inside of this person's house. Well, here's his television. Uh, I guess they don't want it. So I'll just take it home because I have a brother and a sister at home that needs a TV to watch. Not that they can read a book or do things that don't have anything to do with sitting up in front of a television. But that's the excuse that they may tell themselves, you know, because they tripped up and oops, I'm on the inside of this house with this TV. Of course they don't. That's a dumb question, isn't it? You know? It's, it's no more dumb than what this Trey King show guy does. <clears throat> you know, see, it's the, it's the holiday season, and some people think about, about it as, okay, I got to grind. I got to really grind now because I need new shoes and new this and new that, <clears throat> and... I got to buy this and buy that and all this, the other. They make excuses for going out shopping because it's stuff that they need. No, it's stuff that you want. You can get by without that stuff. But they make excuses in their head to validate what they do. But where I'm scratching my head at with Trey King is, is you know, I mean... You have over 1,250 videos. Now, I'm willing to guess that over a 1,000 of those videos are about families that have lost a loved one. I mean, not that you care about that part of it now. I mean, it's obvious that you don't care about that. But... A person like me, I'll look at it like this, you know. There's over a thousand families that this random guy, first of all, that's not a journalist. He works at the railroad. You know, he doesn't have a journalism degree. He's not on television. He's not on the news. He's not giving the news. He's not a pastor. He isn't doing anything for these families except sitting around trying to figure out, hmm, I can make a dollar off of this death. He's done this to over a thousand families. And if you really sit back and think about it, that's a lot of nerve, isn't it? I mean, because he, ha he has, he had to have hit at least every state in the United States more than once. Because there's only 52 states. So think about it, 52 states and over a thousand videos. He has had to hit every state more than once. And if you think about it, that's a lot of nerve, isn't it? I mean, because you would think at, cert at a certain point, you're going to run out of luck at a certain point.
you know, at a certain point, you're going to do this to somebody that has a problem with what you're doing to their family member. You know, they don't care anything about you getting on here, you know, pretending that you're a news person. You know, pretending that you care, waving your hands all around. I mean, let's just take a look at, at, at one. Here's, here's, a, here's a family. And I, I want you all to focus on this video. That's why I removed these videos. I'm going to put them back. Um, but I want you all to focus on this video. Now, here it is. It says, Georgia man with history of domestic violence kills girlfriend and her three kids. Okay. I'm sure that's been in the news. I'm sure, you know, it's been in the newspapers. I'm sure, you know, several news outlets have reported on this. But you got people like this that look at the news just with the expression that they have on their face right there. Like, oh, you know, y'all are getting, y'all are running commercials on your national syndicated network? Well, let me make me a national syndicated network with my YouTube channel and let me get paid for getting on here and telling y'all what's already on the news. And mind you, the news isn't doing this to get money off of those people's families. They're doing it because it's newsworthy information that the public needs to know. The public already knows this stuff that he does. But he scrounges it back up. You know, oh, well, I got to figure out how I can put a spin on this so that I can run ads. Now, don't be fooled. YouTube got rid of the little yellow things. You can't see them anymore. But the ads are still there, y'all. You know. It's no different. Than that burglar that says, ooh, I just happened to trip up and now I'm on the inside of your house and here's this TV that I want. Oh, hmm, well I just happened to, you know, glance on the TV and see this story and, you know, I'm just so moved by the story that I'm going to get on here and help this family. By running ads through this, seeing how I can put a spin on it so that YouTube will monetize it and keep it monetized. I'm not going to give anything to the family. I'm not going to do anything for the family. But I am going to say, you know, what a sad thing it is. But, oh, by the way, now, I do want you to follow me on Twitter. That's the first thing I want you to do is follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram and by the way follow me on Patreon but you know he's everything he's doing on those outlets he's doing here it's no different you know see people like this they aren't a pastor they aren't a journalist all they are is uh, someone sitting around Running a scam, running a scheme, plotting and scheming, conning, being a scoundrel, seeing how he how he can get over on these people's <clears throat> on these people's deaths, and now there's over twelve hundred people, but I'm guessing he didn't. All of his videos probably aren't like that, but I'm guessing a good twelve hundred are. But, you know, and I'm just scaling it down to maybe a thousand. It's at least a thousand families. Do you think I would sit around and do that to a thousand different families? All over. And then, here I am. I'm on, I'm on here. You know, here I am. Catch me if you can. Find me if you can. You know. With this little smug look on your face. Yeah. I'm running ads through this. Now this was in July. Now I noticed lately. He's not doing deaths. But it's only because I'm doing these videos. The minute I stop doing these videos. And he thinks things have calmed down. 
he'll be right back to doing whatever it is that he's doing. That's what they thought that they were going to do when they shut down my old channel. It's like, okay, now it'll be business as usual. You know, but now they're all back in my comments again. You know, I save y'all the trouble of reading it. I just block them, but they're in my comments again. Trying to influence the videos. You know, all the thumbs down. Y'all should see all the thumbs down that they're doing. You got to remember, he has almost 400,000 subscribers. But yet, when he posts a community feed, I'm sure he's been advertising this. But yet, when he posts a community feed, there's what? 13,000 votes. Uh, when he did posts a video, there's 25,000. Okay, but let's go down. Let's just say uh okay three months ago matter of fact this is this is the the family right here that's the guy that's the girl and there's three kids you know so you've got a grandmother of those three kids a maternal grandmother then you've got a maternal grandfather so you're talking two separate families. Then you have a paternal grandmother and a paternal grandfather. So we're talking four different families. You know, aunts, cousins, you know, all this stuff. But yet you have, you know, that are affected by this one guy that decides, let me see, let me, you know, get on here and pretend that I'm a news person. Which everybody knows he isn't. He doesn't even proclaim himself to be. You know. He proclaims himself to be a relationship expert. You know. Blogs. Vlogs. News. Comedy. Everyday talk. Believe me. He puts comedy. In every one of these death stories. It's, it's subtle. But it's there. You know, he's poking fun at it. Some a little more blatantly than others. I don't watch his stuff, but I've seen enough of his stuff to know what his tactics are. Now, so, and then we're talking about, you know, um, grandparents, mothers, fathers. You know, all these victims have relatives. This woman and her three kids didn't just drop on the face of the earth one day. There were their families involved with this stuff. And then, you know, holiday time comes around. This is the first, this is the upcoming holiday season. I'm guessing it's the first holidays since this happened. And you know what he wants? Now, this is after he's already gotten his Google AdSense checks from running ads through this. Which, by the way, news outlets don't do that. Advertisers strike deals with the networks. Not with people sitting around reporting on death. Networks don't report on death. 24 hours a day, every hour, every minute of every day. It's news. It's public news. And that's only a fraction of what they report on. And it's only a fraction of what's on that network. But you're not a network. You're a scam network. I'll give you that. You know? But those artificial you know, subs and stuff, no wonder you got them hidden. I would keep them hidden too. If I had 400,000 subscribers, but yet, you know, I only get a portion. Like I said, it's only about a portion of that. 
You know, and everybody is sitting there watching those ads. And y'all, if y'all have to watch this garbage, skip the ads. Why should this guy sit around and get, because first of all, when I look at him, I don't see anybody black. I don't think of a black person when I see this person. You know, but from what I understand, you know, on, on Instagram, he's, you know, you know, not being seen, you know, he's like, oh, do they not know I'm black? Well, you know, first of all, if somebody looks at you, they may or may not see a black person. But I don't think the color has anything to do with it because you do this to white people too. So color doesn't matter. You do this to grandparents, grandmothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, kids, babies, children, whoever you can get a dollar off of. You know, and the sad part is your minions try to validate you for what you do. As if you're NBC or CBS. You know. And like I said people. It'll never end. It'll never stop. You know. One day he's going to do. The wrong story. And get up here and mock. The wrong death. It's going to happen. It's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. Bound to happen. You know, and this is, you know, hundreds after hundreds after hundreds after hundreds after hundreds after hundreds of people he's doing this to. And it's not just the victims, it's their families. And when you add in those families, you're talking hundreds of thousands of people affected, if not millions. This guy don't care. He look at that as, you know what? That's more of a chance for them to watch an ad and to go to my Twitter and my Facebook and my Instagram and to me, and for me to get a, uh, a click of your sub and an AdSense check and a donation and somebody go to my Patreon so I can get a coin, a dollar, so I can buy this or buy that and then get on here and brag about it. You know. And you know, and, and sometimes I sit back and think, you know, just the idea that somebody would do that. You know? I mean, because I have people in my family that would not buy it well about that at all if they were to do that to their mother or their father or their daughter or their son you know so you know I don't know it's just the nerve of these people it's the nerve of them and then they have to have the nerve to try to get on my get in my comment section and say you're jealous. Oh really? I'm jealous of somebody that sits around and matter of fact the person leaving the comment if they can make a dollar off of your dead family member they'll do it. And I'm jealous of someone like that. You know obviously you guys are living in madness. You know, like I said, my job needs to be done on here. And as long as I reach people off of YouTube, you know, because believe me, some people, some people, they just have a problem with what people do, even if it's not anybody in their own family. Just the idea that somebody has the nerve to get up here and do that, you know. And he's neither black nor white. You know? So, I guess he feels like, oh, well, you know, I can do it to the black people. And then I can also turn around and do it to the white people. 
So that makes it okay because I'm doing it to both of them. No, none of what you do to people is okay. Doing this to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of families. Now you've been doing it for years. I guess everybody else have been scared to speak on it. But I'm going to call it for what it is. And a lot of people see it for what it is. And even though you're trying to, you know, pull back and, you know, only, you know, you know, not do death. You know what? You've already done it to over a thousand families. You know, you don't get to turn over a leaf and now because you don't do a story on somebody dead, you know, everything is okay now. You know. But you sit up there in, in that smug room without a mother and a father and you think it's okay to do anything you have to do for a dollar. Even if it's drag a thou, over a thousand families onto your quote unquote show. And believe me, y'all, it's a show. He puts on a show. Let me turn down the volume. He gives you a show. He puts on a song and dance. And it's to the point now where, you know, he even holds his head back now, you know, and has his neck down and has this little smug expression. And uh, it's almost like he makes his little antics now with his head. You know, and his voice, you know. I'm going to let y'all hear his voice for a millisecond. Listen. And be three years old. See, he acts like he cares. You know. But when he's looking at that, at, at all of these different stories, when he's reading over all this stuff, when he's rehearsing and practicing, you know, and getting the somber music just right, and all that stuff. You know what's going through his mind? You know, you know when he's setting up cuz he claims he has to do all this, you know, all this elaborate setup to do this. No one asked you to do this. No one asked you to trip up and oops, now you're in somebody's home and there's a flat screen TV and you feel like it's okay to take it home so your brother and your sister can watch it cuz they don't have one. These are deliberate actions by deliberate people with a deliberate goal, money. They want as much of it as they can get. They send their trolls after people like me, but I can handle every single one of them. They try to manipulate my videos, but the algorithm still likes my work, y'all. It still likes my work. And, you know, part of the reason is because I don't have to do things like he does. Like, even on this little community thing here, you know, um, he tags Lil Fizz, Omarion, and April on it. You know why? To try to get views. To try to get people to come to his channel and watch his ads that pop up randomly through these videos. You can't see the yellow things anymore. But I'm sure, you know, lovely T.I. told him, you know, do whatever you have to do, Trey, to get money. You raising up your brothers and sisters. Do anything you have to do. So she probably told him to do this. Because he doesn't report on stuff like this. This is her stuff. They're still working in the background. You know? This is what they do, you know? And you got people like her, you know, she'll she'll dirty her hands, you know, and in her mind, she'll get her hands a little dirty by, you know, supporting what Trey King does. Cause she even tells, oh, y'all go over to Trey King. That's how I know it's a they are a duo. 
I don't know which one of them is more hard up for money. I don't know which one of them aren't willing to do anything for a dollar. You know, they're probably plotting and scheming as I speak, as I make this video. I don't care. All of y'all can come after me. But the fact still remains what y'all are doing. You know, y'all need L's for that. Serious L's, you know. But who knows? Karma might eventually find its way right in y'all's lap. Those are the things I hope for, you know. I don't hope for people sitting around trying to make money off of these people's deaths. You know, like, you got people like Lovely T.I. and the Trey King Show. They sit around and, you know, I'm assuming because they've been on here so long, you know, they think they're journalists. So just pay me, you know. She has her, her following trained, you know like animals they're trained you know she tell them who to watch who not to watch what to think what not to think if you want to know what to think come to my videos they tell them when she tells them when to give how much to give if they don't give her what she wants she threatens them with not doing videos and that she tells them y'all gonna have to pay me because she's not PewDiePie, they have to pay her. And believe me, y'all, this is her ace boom coon. They've been plotting and scheming for years. And both of their hands are just as dirty as Tasha K's. Don't fall for the madness. It's a show. It's an act. It's an act. See, it's an act. It's all an act. See, it's an act. It's all an act for money. And he's done this to thousands of people. Thousands of people are affected by what he's done. He's done it to thousands of families. It's what he's done. And it's a disgrace. You know, in this time of the year, it, it makes me sit around and think about those families. You know. Because this, this Georgia woman, her family has not even gone through the holidays yet. And I sit around and I think about the family. You know, she, her and her kids are, are not going to be there. And I think about them. And how that must feel for them. My heart goes out to the families of the people that he does his stuff to. You know. And you, you know it's going to be sad. You know there's tears are going to be shed. You know it's hard for her mother, who's a grandmother to those kids, both grandmothers, both grandfathers, aunts, uncles, cousins. You know, it's sad. But you got people like this that sit around in the background and try to make a dollar off of it. That's their main goal, making a dollar off of it. And they've done it to over a thousand families. You know, the things people will do for money, y'all, like I said, Y'all are going to see for the next six months, these people are going to be up in the ante. But I think it's an absolute disgrace what Trey, Trey King does. Now, I, I'm willing to give lovely T.I. a pass because her content doesn't exploit all these families and all these dead people and stuff, dead kids and stuff. Go back through his content. You'll see the, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of families he's done this to. Over a thousand. And he could care less. At the end of the day, he could care less. 